So I'm going to go into demo mode and I just remind me if I forget to come out of demo mode, guys, <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> so uh, here's the deal. This is Ecamm if you've never seen it before. And I, um, I'm not gonna be able to show you the actual button, but uh, right down here, when you are uh, not live or not recording, you have a whole section called the destination section. It says destination, and then it's a drop down box. And what you'll do is actually um, click that, and then there's a record only mode, and you just put it in record only mode and then you I wish I could I wish I could show you all the buttons because I just realized since I'm live I can't show you the buttons I want to show you but um, that is uh, that is right here down in this bottom section now the other thing before you start recording let's talk about um, the quality that you stream in if you go into the ecam live menu option at the top and go into preferences you will see this box right here here and in the I'm sorry in general no nope, in stream <laughs> um, this stream size says high 1080 um, now I am streaming at 1080 but however when I record video I actually record it in 4k and the difference being when we are recording video we are actually um, pulling in and zooming in and so our editors like to be able to, to have have better quality zoomed in video. You don't necessarily need that for streaming. And in fact, there's a big reason why you shouldn't stream in 4K. And we have a video all about that that describes the uh, negatives about streaming in 4K on our Live Streaming Pros YouTube channel. So I'd highly recommend watching that. But when I'm recording video, if you want to get the most out of your recorded video, you should, if your computer can handle it, record in 4K. That way you have flexibility on the editing side, unless you're just planning to record all what, what I would call here. Let's, let's talk about this. This is important. So um, live to drive. It used to be called in the olden days, <laughs> back when I started video, it was called uh, live, live to tape. Sorry, it was like live to drive. So live to tape, when we actually used tapes in our cameras. Um, and what that meant is you actually just go and you speak and you act as if it were live. So no stopping, no, re, uh, no backing up and doing something again. If you mess up, you mess up and you just keep going. That's called live to drive in the old days. Now it's called live, sorry, that, live to tape in the old days, now called live to drive. So um, that is another option for you to use your Ecamm Live software in order to get the maximum results because you can share your screens and you can do all of this while you're just recording a video and you never have to edit it. How awesome is that, <laughs> right? Yes, that is what uh, I've been doing. One take a cat, exactly. And that is actually how, back in the Cali days of when I used the, the, the alias Cali Lewis, yes, for sure. And that is how I learned to be live is through live to drive and doing TV shows where I had to just go and not stop and not do retakes. So um, another one is the pause button. Okay, so I can't show this to you specifically, but right down here where the destination is, um, when you hit record only and then you hit record, then you're going to see a button down here that says pause and then end the recording. So right here, right where Abby is actually in the background, that's Abby <laughs> back there. Um, so right here, you're going to see a, a pause button. I freaking love this feature so much. I use it all the time. So when I'm recording my YouTube videos, I, and I know it's gonna be edited, right? If I'm recording a video that is going to be edited, I will use that pause button religiously so that my editors don't have to deal with 
<laughs> it just like pauses and just a whole big file that doesn't have to be so big. For instance, I used this a lot for the video that's coming out on our channel about how to add graphics to Ecamm. That's coming out Saturday at 6 a.m. I had a finished, the finished video is right now 15 to 18 minutes. I'm not, somewhere in that range. Um, but can you imagine how much it was in the recording itself? Because I had to chop out a lot of stuff, right? So it was a really long video because I had to stop and I had to reset things because I was showing multiple different demos. And so I would have to stop and reset and pause and think, okay, well, I just did this. What do I need to do next? Right? So if my editors don't need to see all of that, they don't need to see all of that. And it's just a waste of everybody's time. So I hit that pause button and I just pick it back up. Key here is to pick it back up. Make sure that when you start talking again, <laughs> you actually hit the resume button. So did you guys know that you could do that? Uh, I would love to hear because I think that that's a feature that people miss all the time. Okay, so let's go into live demo mode again. And one more thing that I wanna show you is the, uh, this one right here. If you go into preferences and in the general tab, choose the recordings folder, then you can choose where your recordings go. Uh, they have a default, but I actually like to change where mine is because it's easier for me to find on the back end. And when you end your recording, it actually gives you the option to, um, to show the recording. So you don't necessarily have to know where that file is um, and where that folder is um, because as soon as you hit end, it says view file or you could just send it straight to YouTube if you want it as well. And then you can find that in your uh, uh, finder. It just pops up and then you can do what you need to. For me, I usually put those on Google Drive and then um, that gets edited and processed. So I pinned the Ecamm folder, uh, recordings folder in Finder. Great tip, I love that, I love, love, love that. Okay, so um, yeah, so those are my tips. I wanna see what your tips were. Did we have any tips come through? What do you do to get the most out of recording your video in Ecamm. And now we're gonna move into Q&A. If you're watching the replay of this, uh, be sure to uh, let us know what the biggest takeaway from this video was in the comments, I would love to hear. And remember to show up to these live streams so that you can get your questions answered every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific for Go Live Now, the show that I do in partnership with Ecamm. All right. <laughs> 